Yeah, I started fly fishing in October of 2014 on the Little Red River in Arkansas. My wife gave me a fly fishing trip and ever since then I've kind of been hooked on it and just fished it as much as I possibly could. And from there I kind of, I had nets, but they just never suited, they never suited my needs. Uh, either the handles were too uncomfortable or they weren't big enough or they were too big. And I have a background in woodworking. I did woodworking for 13 years and it just was a natural thing just to give it a try. So I gave it a try and was like, this is pretty easy. I can do it. And so I started uh, Stonefly Nets in 2000, January of 2018. My goal is to make a high-end product at a reasonable price. I want the average you know, guy who fishes three or four times a year to be able to come to me and get something that's heirloom quality, special to him, special to his kids, that he can pass on and not break the bank. Having something custom made doesn't mean that it costs more. It, it just means you get what you want. And I really strive when I make a custom net to meet your budget with a better product than you think you would get. I looked at my needs and kind of what I wanted in a net and designed my nets based on my fishing needs. So I was looking to, for, to make a net for Colorado, I was looking to make a net for small brookie streams in the Smokies and a, a, a tailwater net. And so I kind of built three nets based on those. You know, whether they're buying it for their dad and they're going to generate memories with their dad with it and then they're going to get it and do the same with their kids. There is an aspect that people come to me looking for that, looking for that piece that's going to outlive them. And so I want to treat every piece that way, whether it's a simple bass net to a high-end burl net. You know, I want each net to be an heirloom quality and if it generates those memories and outlasts me and outlasts them, great.